Hey guys, what's going on? Myth Ninja here, and we're back with some more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. This is episode 3 of the Goku series, at least. Uh, you know, we have a lot more characters to play, but we're still going on with Goku. We're going to try to finish it off, and then just kind of go down the list as we go. Uh, last we left off, we beat Frieza in a uh, surprising fashion. I did mess up. I accidentally did an alternate ending. I didn't mean to do that, uh, so i got to pay attention to these objectives and how I have to beat these characters to progress because it completely stopped everything and I had to kind of just do do what I had to you know but we're gonna try to keep going besides the mess ups and just you know keep keep on track but I want to thank you guys for coming don't forget to like subscribe hit that bell button for more because I'm gonna keep on keeping on and let's get right into it okay let's do this thing One year has passed since the battle with Frieza on Namek. Frieza has survived and comes to Earth seeking revenge. However, a mysterious young man suddenly appears before him. The young man then transforms into a Super Saiyan just like Goku and annihilates Frieza instantly. At the same time, Goku, who, uh, who was on planet Yardrad after his escape from planet Namek, returns to Earth. The youth tells Goku that his name is Trunks and he comes from the future. He warns that in three years, androids built by the Red Ribbon Army will arrive. Apparently, in the future, Trunks' friends have been murdered and Goku has died of a heart virus. So he has come to give Goku some medicine for his illness. After telling Goku what he will come to... That he will come to their aid when the androids arrive, Trunks returns to his own time. Goku is determined to fight alongside his friends to avert the coming catastrophe in their futures. Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and Gohan? I've been raring to fight you again. Sure, sounds good to me. Krillin, what about the rest of you guys? Thanks, but I'm going to head to Master Roshi's and train with him, actually. Oh, well, okay. Uh-oh. Three years pass and the fated day of May 12th has finally come. They actually gave this day a date? Goku and the others gather at the time and place that Trunks gave them. They settle in to wait for the Andrew's appearance, but... But before they know it, they are, they're already here. Up there, in the sky! He was attacked from above! Goku and the others couldn't even sense the android before they started landing in the streets. Suddenly, Goku senses that Yamcha's key is rapidly fading. They arrive to find him barely alive, having suffered a, a mortal blow at the hands of the androids. Goku leaves Krillin with the injured Yamcha and turns to face the incoming androids. There are too many innocent people here. Let's take this somewhere else. You agree to that at least? Oh, that's too a no. Too many innocent people? Well, that is a problem which can be easily corrected. Oh. Stop it! You bastards! It was my understanding you wanted the streets free of onlookers. Evidently, our solution does not please you. That's it! Follow me and we're gonna settle this! Open fields. Goku leads the Andrews to a deserted area away from town where they're trying to destroy where they were trying to destroy. Once at a safe distance for humanity, Goku questions the Andrews about how they know details about him and the others. It turns out Andrew 20 has been studying Goku and his friends ever since they defeated the Red Ribbon Army in order to learn how to defeat them. He informs them that over time he has, analy he has analyzed and come to fully grasp the power they yield, or they wield. Andrew 20 is confident that victory will be his, but Koku only grins all in response. You know about me is from before I went to Namek. You're about to be in for a real shock. Oh. Whoa. You 
guys stay out of this. If I'm the one these guys want, then that's what they're gonna get. A most intriguing discrepancy, this dormant power. It departs rather considerably from the data previously compiled. But it is not remotely discouraging. His strength is within manageable parameters. Android number 19 shall now operate as your executioner. Is that right? Fine. Then get over here and fight me. Oh, find Android 19 first. Come on, you bastard. Oh, he grabbed you in that one. Do not bother, it is Yeah, got him. His strength is immeasurable. This Super Saiyan transformation put Goku on a level far beyond us all. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah! Here it goes! We're settling this right here and now! Yeah! Oh, I need to see battle details. Get an android. Okay, that's fine. Oh shit, let me do that. Jeez, man, what is that? Oh man. Mission Goku 3. Yamcha's outfit. Goku loses consciousness after his battle with the androids once. Once he's been given the medicine from Trunks, he comes to a few he comes to a few days later. During that time, Android 16, 17, and 18 awaken, and to make matters worse, a creature named Cell has appeared, seeking the ultimate power. It is through Absorbing 17 and 18 that Cell plans to attain his perfect form. Now aware of his new foes, Goku enters the hyperbolic time chamber so he can complete a year of training in just a single day. If I want any chance of winning battles to come, then I need to train hard enough to find a level beyond Super Saiyan. Goku explains his training plan to Trunks and Vegeta, and the two of them enter the chamber first. A day passes, but then Goku senses an impending battle. It started. Piccolo's getting ready to fight. Yeah, but who? Do you think it's Cell? No. Whoever it is, I can't sense their energy. So it's got to be one of the other androids. Stop, Gohan. We can't help him. We're nowhere near their level right now. All we do is slow Piccolo down. Uh, huh? Dad, that energy. It, it's got to be Cell. He's on the move. Go help wait for Vegeta and Trunks. Ah, uh, no, we gotta wait for Vegeta and Trunks. There's an alternate, I think. I'm telling you, there's 
nothing we can do to help Piccolo with the level of strength we're at right now. <laughs> Come on, Vegeta. What's taking you so long? I hope this isn't, isn't an alternate path. Later, Cell absorbs 17, getting one step closer to his perfect form. Oh, jeez. Check out my perfect form. It's perfect. <laughs> what is that line? Soon after, he's also absorbed 18, thus achieving his perfect form. Following this, Cell declares that the Cell Games will be held after 10 days of preparation. He states he wishes to prove his strength, the strength of his final form, enjoy linear entertainment, and of course, terrorize the world. Goku completes his training in the hyperbolic time chamber, although he says that Cell is still stronger than him. His spirit has not been crushed. Ten days pass and the Cell Games begin. The Cell Games have officially begun. Now, if any of you should dare to step forward, I would like to kick things off. I'll go first. Well, well. I was hoping to save the best for last, Goku. But so be it. Come on. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, so holding it actually gives you uh oh boy yeah you bastard Aw, oh, damn it, I missed. We were barely fighting up. there. I fought as hard as I could, but it's pretty clear there's no way I can beat you. So that's it for me. Oh. Oh, I like that outfit, the the Saiyan armor. Is it a different Goku? Enjoying this, his fight with Goku immensely, Cell realizes what a shame it would be if only if one of them were to lose on a trivial technicality like going out of bounds. So he destroys the ring entirely. But the Cell, but Cell surprised Goku announced that he's throwing in the towel. Believing that Gohan's strength has surpassed his, Goku entrusts the fate of Earth to Gohan. However, Goku was misunder has misunderstood. Even though Gokan has attained greater strength, he is still a kind-hearted youth. The truth is, I hate fighting. And I don't want to kill anyone. Believe it or not, I don't even want to kill a bad guy like you. So decides he's going to pro purposely en enrage Gohan to force him to reveal his true power. So he produces Cell Juniors to inflict pain on Goku and the others. Now, my precious little babies, see those seven spectators up there? Kill them all! Oh, and do have fun. Guys, keep your guard up! These things are way stronger than they look! 
Have any energy? Get ready to see my real. I know I shouldn't be doing it that way. Actually, how done? Yeah, yeah, to see the subject. Wow, as if he dodged that. Oh my god, I can't recover. And I'll never forgive you! Here it goes! I'm not done yet. Energy. Don't hold back. Get ready to see my real strength. Come, eh, come, eh? You brought this on yourself, Cell. Now you're finally gonna pay for all the suffering you've caused. Want me to end it already? <laughs> I'm not letting him off that easy. He deserves to feel the same pain he put all his victims through. Oh no, I skipped some dialogue. You, you, you son of a. In a few moments, I'll blow myself to bits. <laughs> I might die, but then so will all of you. This planet will explode in a burst of flame. If you lay a finger on me, boom! Bye-bye, Earth. No sense in wasting your last few seconds while you got them. <laughs> I've killed us. It's all my fault. I could have finished him, but I didn't. 
I... I know that look. Sorry, I've thought this over, guys. Well... Any way you slice it, there's only one way to save Earth. Goodbye, my friends. Uh, goodbye? You're not thinking of... Goku! No! You did good today, Gohan. You made me proud. Dad, what are you... Tell your mom I'm sorry. I'm not gonna make it home this time. His... his energy... it's gone without a trace. They don't even give me this fight. Oh no, man, come on. Goku uses ancient transmission to bring both himself and Cell to King Kai's planet and save Earth from Cell's self destruction. Cell successfully regenerates his body and returns to Earth, but Gohan, inspired by Koku's words, stands to meet him, ready to end him once and for all. Everyone wants to revive Goku, but he asks them Take to stop. Take care, okay? Live your lives to the fullest, and I'll see you again when you're dead! Bye-bye! Earth may not have, have him there to protect it, but he's not worried so long as it has Gohan and all of them. Its future is in their hands, now. Did I just do another alternate ending there? Uh, Trunks outfits, 60,000 zenny. Oh no, it looks like we're fine. Uh, all of this is Gohan's. Okay, no, yeah, we're good. Oh man. Well, uh, I want to thank you guys for joining me again. That was a fun episode. It, it seems like they do some... They do a little bit more work on the very important scenes... Um, I wish they would give us more fights, though. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm assuming they probably did it this way and kind of did it like a more recap version. So that way, for the people that want to play story mode, they could kind of get a, a taste of it. But mostly be in the online scene. Um, and maybe just like playing the game in general, have replayability and stuff like that. As well as having the alternate missions and stuff. But I like it, you know, it's I wish they would have given me that final battle with Cell because in the older games I was like one of my favorite fights was fighting Cell as Team Gohan. But eh, to each their own. You know, we, we get to play the game, we get to watch it back and you know enjoy some cool cinematics. But I wanna thank you guys again. Don't forget to like, subscribe and all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.